Welcome back foodies. Today we are gonna make homemade Greek yogurt. It's super easy to make, takes two ingredients, and it's cheaper than what you can buy in the stores, and it tastes a lot better. So let's get into it. All right foodies. First we are gonna start by adding one liter or four cups of 3% milk to a pot. You could also use skim milk here to make it lower calorie. Place the pot on medium high heat and we're going to bring it to 180 degrees Fahrenheit or 80 degrees Celsius. Make sure you stir to keep a skim from forming on top or from burning on the bottom. A thermometer is going to be very important for this recipe, so make sure you have one. And if you don't have one, I have a link in the description below. Once you've reached 180 degrees Fahrenheit, let's go ahead and remove this from the heat. We're going to let the milk cool till it reaches 115 degrees Fahrenheit or 46 degrees Celsius. You can speed this up by placing a bowl on an ice bath and stirring it until it reaches 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you've reached 115 degrees Fahrenheit, we're going to take a bit of milk and mix it with a quarter cup or 75 grams of plain yogurt with live cultures. This is important, we need the cultures to make the yogurt. Your yogurt should only have two ingredients, milk and active cultures on it. And make sure it's plain. Mix the yogurt and milk well, then we're going to take that mixture and add it back into the milk. And make sure it's thoroughly combined into the milk. Now let's cover the bowl with some cling film and place it on a baking sheet. Then we're going to grab the warmest towel you have and wrap our yogurt baby in it to keep it warm. We're trying to keep the temperature at 115 degrees. We're going to take our yogurt baby and place it into an oven with the light on for 6 to 12 hours. The longer you leave this, the thicker it will be. After you left it for 6 to 12 hours, you'll have regular yogurt. Now plain yogurt is great, but we're going to kick things up a notch and make this a thick Greek yogurt. Let's place a strainer over a bowl and add cheesecloth to it. You could also use a kitchen towel or a coffee filter if you don't have cheesecloth. Pour your yogurt into the strainer and cover with the cheesecloth or some cling film. Then place it into a fridge for a few hours or for overnight. Again, the longer you leave this, the thicker it will be. And with the power of YouTube magic, here is homemade Greek yogurt. Now I left mine in a little too long, so it's more like a texture of cream cheese. So what I'm gonna do is add back some of that whey that dripped out of it and mix it up until I get the thickness I like. Oh, there we go, I'm making a mess. There we go, perfect. Let's put this into a bowl, top it with some fresh strawberries, granola, and some honey. Now let's give this a try. And there you go, Greek yogurt. Super tasty, super creamy. Mmm, all over my beard. Nothing beats homemade yogurt. Takes two ingredients, a bit of time, tastes way better, and a lot cheaper. And until next time, foodie out.